and it idles on its own, but the carburetor only leaks in three spots of gas, but oh well. Not bad. We're in this car. Oh, look at that automatic trunk opening up. Man, that's right on cue. Let's see, the trunk's pretty clean. I mean, you has got your uh, airflow fenders, which are great for dynamically designs, and aerodynamic design, excuse me. And we have a little bit of rust. Nothing that can't be fixed, or it's got some great parts. It ends up being a parts car. It does run and drive, and we did run and drive it here. But I say it's just a few blocks. And slow go. It's the interior. It's got the typical 68 Ford Falcon dashes that you have to repair or replace. Got your glove box. It's got the insurance card in there from someone else, of course. It's got an aftermarket radio. Look at that cassette. Man, you're not gonna find that much anymore. Man, you can't hardly really find cassettes. But there's a reason for that. Nobody wants them. It's a green upholstery car. It's a black exterior car. We're not sure of the original, if the black is the original color yet or not. We gotta look up the color code and see. And it's got new tires, which are nice. And here is the engine. Here's the nice hood with poop all over. It was sitting in the alley forever. It's got a aluminum aftermarket radiator in it, three row. It's got a battery, which is only about a year old. And it's got a 200 six cylinder engine with an 1100 Ford carburetor, which has right now three leaks. The accelerator pump's leaking in it and a few other spots, which will have to be repaired. And it's a big start, it looks pretty good, does start. And that's basically a quick review of what we got here to work with. Oh, the front bumper's mighty mangled. That'll have, I do have a spare bumper in the attic. Well, who doesn't? And so, it's got dual mirrors which for a 68 is odd because they weren't required till after 69, I believe. And uh, here we go. So that's looking at the first view of the 68 Ford Falcon, which was found in Fort Wayne, Indiana, where we live in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And like I said, I visited it once before in Ohio, in Lima, Ohio, and I turned it down because it was way too much money. And then it for some reason, it ended up in Fort Wayne anyway. And tonight we decided to buy it because the owner had contacted us because they know, well, it's kind of like if you want to get rid of alcohol, you know, an alcoholic will take it. Well, that's why the guy called us.